Hi again, it's Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems and in this video I'm going to walk you through the new project capability that we've added into Sidekick 365 XRM Ultimate. Projects are really powerful. They let you store a lot of information about a particular topic and then you can attach that topic to an account, to an opportunity, or they can be standalone. They are incredibly useful and they go by a lot of names in different systems. Some call this case management. Um, other people might just call it some sort of a project management light capability. Whatever you want to call it, just realize that these are very powerful capabilities and it integrates right into all of the great features that SharePoint gives you when you build an app around the platform. So let's take a quick look at how these projects work what kind of things you can do with them, and then we'll make a few new projects and show you how to integrate in documents from Office using our add-ins. Okay, let's get started. What you'll notice on the left-hand side is I've got a new capability here called Projects. I'll go ahead and select that, and in this case I just have a couple of projects that I'm able to see. Now if you've watched the video on security, you'll know that you can apply a security profile to a project as well and that means you can limit who can see it. Let's take a look at this create a proposal for safe maintenance contracts. And when I open up this project I'm going to see the familiar interface that we have set up where you have related items along the top and then of course on the left are the different modules. So in this case this is a project it's related to an account called ABC Lock and Key and it's about creating a proposal for the safe maintenance proposals. And I can also hear, uh, see here that I have some tasks, some notes, some documents, and people if I want to attach them to it. I have a start date, an end date, a status, and I can apply a profile. In this case, I have the Allen S profile, so only people allowed to see the Allen S profile items will be able to see this particular project. Let's take a look at the documents. That's pretty interesting. So when I click on the Documents tab, I'm going to see a couple of PDF files here that I've got attached to this project. And there's a new capability. They keep upgrading Office 365. If I just click on the three dots here, what's really cool now is Microsoft's added the ability to preview PDF files prior to opening them right in the uh, Office web viewer that they've developed for Word. So very powerful and I say yep that's the one I want to see and also you can see here these are the people that have access to it besides Alan. It's been shared with me and with Amy Alberts and that's because we have the security profile associated with this project. So here I'm showing the inheritance that happens with security. If you attach a file to the project only those people allowed to see the project are going to be able to see that file as well. Now let's say I wanted to put in an Excel file into this project. How would I do that? Let's go out to Excel and let's go into this quote that I've created. Now you can see here I have a Contoso lock and key and it's for ABC and we have this great capability built in where I can integrate in data and let's take a look at that. So I have Excel open and when I click on the button to upload what I'm going to see is here's my accounts and opportunities so I could attach that file to an account to an opportunity but I also look at the projects and there's that safe maintenance I'm going to go ahead and upload this file to the safe maintenance I'm going to give it a name and that's fine and I can categorize it and I'll say that this is a quote and I'll say okay and remember that these categories come out of Sidekick 365's category module so it takes just a minute for the file to be copied up into Sidekick and then let's go take a look at how it looks when we get up there. So if I refresh the page I should see that document now in that list of documents associated with that project and I do. And just the three button click is really helpful. Again you'll see it's inherited the security properly. Now in this case they don't show the preview of the Excel files. I think that that's something that's coming in Office 365 but I can go ahead and just open it up. And I can open it up in the previewer that they give me in Excel Online. 
and there it is. I can actually go ahead and edit it right in the browser, or I can edit it in Excel if I want to open it up. So that's great. Let's look and see how we can integrate in an email. And this is a, be uh, very interesting because I have my Gmail account opened up. So as long as you can get to uh, an email account through Outlook, whether that's Gmail or some other third-party email system, we can integrate those in too. We can also integrate in voice messages that you get if you're using Link. And we can also integrate in any attached files or documents if you've got those stored in Outlook. But let's go ahead and take a look real quick at this interesting uh, CIO resource online email that I got. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in as well. So again, I click the button. It's familiar to me because it looks similar across all of the Office applications. And I get that same dialogue I had over in Excel. And I'll put that into my safe maintenance contract. That's the project we've been working on. And now I should see a copy of that file over in that project list of documents. So let's go take a look. And now I should see four documents listed when it refreshes. It takes just a second. And when it comes up, we'll see that email attached as an MSG file type which is very useful. Um, we want to be able to open these things up as we would in Outlook and then be able to share those with people by um, uploading them um, or by emailing them, forwarding them, etc. So here it comes and there's my message that I just sent into the system. It's actually a copy from my Outlook. Now I can also take a look at notes that I might have attached to this project. So we'll go take a look at that. And the notes are really useful because we've built in a capability to include hyperlinks. So when you come into the system, you can then attach a note that has a hyperlink on it and click right into it. It's very handy. And you can see that link right here. So here we have the note about the Brown Safe Estate Door. And if I just click here, I can go right into that page on the web. So it's very handy to put in some sort of shortcuts to information that you might be sharing between different websites and these projects that you're working on. And here's information, Nekonopa PDF files, etc. Let's go on back to Sidekick. Take just a second here. And I'm doing a lot on this laptop, so it's... Uh, a little bit of smoke coming out of the side of it while I record the video for you. But you'll see the speed is very good once you start to try out the demo environment. Okay, so when it refreshes, we'll look across the top of the screen and we'll notice that we have different options as well. We're going to have people that we can attach. We're also going to have um, different tasks, as I've shown you, in addition to the notes and also to the project main page. So it's just coming back to life here. So I can attach a contact. I can also attach a task to it. Now let's go back and see if, how we could um, add in a new project. It's very easy to do. All I have to do is just use my drop down here and select a project. Now when I get the new project screen, I can give it a name. So I'll say new project. And I can attach it to an account or an opportunity. So I can say an account. And in this case, I'll say ABC lock and key. And I can also attach it to an opportunity in that. So if I click here and push down opportunity, I could see all the opportunities I have access to and attach it to that. So I have a couple here. I'll do the locks with keys instead. Just showing you some different options here. So now this project would be attached to that opportunity. When you open the opportunity, you'll see it listed as a project. It's also listed in the projects page here. Status is open. There's the owner. Start date, I'll go ahead and give it a date of the 23rd. I'm not going to start it for a few days. And just call this new project. And I can attach a profile to it if I have the rights to assign security so I can limit who can see it. And I'll give this one the Alan S. profile and I'll save it. 
So if I go into that opportunity with the 250 locks and keys, I should now see this project attached to that opportunity. And we can take a look at that right now. So I'll open up the opportunity, and when I look across the top, I'll see the projects added there, and I should see a one next to it where I've added this new project. And there it is. So if I just click on it, I can get to it this way as well. And I'll see it listed there called New Project. And if I want to go into it, I can just click on it and start adding content. So I hope you see the power of projects. They are incredibly useful because you can also make a project as a standalone item. They don't have to be attached to anything. For example, I've created a sample project where we're going to create a new brochure. So I just have a create a marketing brochure. I haven't added anything to it yet, but it's not attached to an account or an opportunity. And I can start throwing in documents, notes, tasks, etc and start collaborating with people that have access to it. In this case, everyone can see it. And we can start working together on this particular project. So these projects are very, very powerful. They let you coordinate a lot of information about a particular topic. And they can also be used once you've closed a sale. There's no reason you couldn't create a project after you've closed an opportunity and attached that to the account so that once you've closed a deal and you start to deliver product or services, you can create a project to start tracking all that. So I hope you found this to be an interesting video. It really highlights the power of projects. This is available in Sidekick 365, XRM Ultimate. We're really excited to add this capability into the product line. And if you want more information, you can always email us at info at skylightsystems.com that's s k y l i t e s y s t e m s.com this is dave chenault thanks for your time we appreciate it